Hey, hi, hello, and what's up, everybody? It's the one and only Lee Sourenew, Living Satire, coming at you with loads of dark humor and jokes straight out of the Ponder World. And today, we're going to be talking about a OC of mine. And her name is Max. Her full name is Maxine. I haven't thought of a last name. And she's from a series me and my sister are developing together. You know, just fun stuff. It would be awesome to make it into, like, an anime or a manga someday. But anyway, it's just a idea we have characters we have a story and it's called reset you know it's kind of hard to explain maybe i'll explain the story in another video but this is specifically about this character max she is the first character i've made years upon years ago i'll have to find the first drawing i did of her but she is the first reset character that's been created and personally my favorite you know i designed her all by myself a long time ago and I'm really proud of her uh, she's my favorite um, now some things about Max the world she lived on was mostly you know like a city like one big city of a planet and the way her world was destroyed was via you know asteroids meteors you know coming and crashing down on it but um you know she so happened to jump into a subway and an asteroid meteor whatever fragment you know blocked the entrance and there was nothing around for her to use to destroy it or anything so she had to it was kind of soft i guess but the only thing she had was her bare hands you know to punch through it and the radiation you know from said meteorite because she was always pretty strong before but it enhanced that you know when it cut up her knuckles which is you know you can see in this drawing you know her layer on her knuckles have like a lot of scars on them and she has a tendency, you know, of punching things a lot, you know, so she has a lot of wounds on her knuckles that are never completely healed and that that aren't completely healed and that, you know, she has a tendency of busting open. Now, Max is insanely strong. Like, she is crazy strong. She is too strong. <laughs> She's strong. But, yeah, so that's her special ability because everyone in Reset, the main cast, they all have some kind of special ability. Hers is super strength. And I'm thinking maybe her first appearance would be, like, her fighting, like, some kind of huge, like, robot. But that's going to come into play later on with some, um, foreshadowing and symbolism and stuff. And it's super cool. But, um, as far as her personality goes, Max is pretty, you know, rambunctious in a way. She's, like, pretty outgoing. She has a very extreme personality. You know, very, yeah, <laughs> wild, I guess. And, um, because of that, because of her, you know, like, over-energetic behavior, sometimes it leads to her accidentally destroying things or hurting people. Because, <laughs> um, it takes her a while for her to actually get used to her newfound strength. But, yeah. It's great. And the person she's closest to in the reset group is Giz little nerd guy <laughs> but um and they're probably my favorite ship Miz, yeah Miz, yeah Miz I think is the ship name Max and Giz and yeah she just has all kinds of like cute little nicknames for him like droid you know just and his actual name is Jay but we'll get into that nickname why he's called Giz and not Jay you know in a on the video about him <laughs> but we're talking about max right now um what else about her that is interesting i'm thinking about maybe giving her a pet chinchilla and yeah and max really hates because uh i again this is still a work in progress but her basic backstory is i don't know what happened to her parents but um her aunt ended up taking her in. Again, this is a work in progress and things are, could change. But the story we have right now is that she was taken in by her aunt. You know, who was just very abusive towards her and treated her like absolute crap. And it was bad. And oh my goodness. But her, you know, her aunt had a son. You know, her little cousin. Who cared a lot for her. And, you know, yeah. And she basically ended up being like a big sister towards him. But, and I'm thinking maybe later on, Max will meet 
that aunt that was really abusive towards her. And even though Max has all this strength and she could just splatter this winch with one shot and not even try, like just, yeah, <laughs> she doesn't do that because, because, you know, she's just so against people with a lot of power using said power to, you know, harass and bully and get down on people weaker than them. And, you know, Max doesn't want to stoop down to that level. You know, even though her aunt has given her all kinds of crap, you know, she isn't going to splatter her because she is significantly stronger now. And she has the upper hand, but she's not going to do that. So, yeah. Let me think. Oh, um, Max is, you could probably see in the beginning of this video, a little shark face hoo ha, -ha. <laughs> Um, because, yeah, she looks like her face is shark-like. But her planet, oh, another thing I forgot to mention about her world is that it's always nighttime. There, there's no sun, just, just, you know, it's nighttime all the time. So it's like a very pretty, you know, glowy city, and it's very nice. It's hard to describe, and I suck at describing things. But yeah, that's why she's so pale, because she has no melanin in her skin. And uh, that's why her eyes are the way they are as well, you know, solid white. And... Yeah, I haven't exactly thought about anything specific, you know, for what she did before everything went down. But I was thinking maybe, you know, she was really, of course, she's athletic. So she was probably going to end up being some kind of kickboxer or something. I'm not sure. Maybe have a nice little flower shop on the side. Again, things are pending. I'm, we're still putting stuff together. So, yeah. she She's just a really fun, bombastic you know, really out there character, and she really does love and protect her friends. But she does go through a bit of character development, because in the beginning, you know, she might come across as maybe a bit crass and perhaps a bit insensitive, but, you know, it, it's because of the life she's lived, and people being that way towards her for the most part. So, it's not that she means to be hurtful, or, you know, anything like that, it was just, because she hasn't really, didn't really know how to really deal with others. So she really just kind of like spoke what was on her mind, you know. But of course she felt bad when she realized, you know, what she said had hurt somebody. But, yeah. But of course that becomes, you know, she works on that. And she is very affectionate and caring and very protective over her friends and, you know, the small, <laughs> the strong must protect the sweet, <laughs> basically. But, yeah, I, I feel like I was about, oh yeah, she actually accidentally ended up breaking Giz's arm once. Like, just punched him and then, yeah, broke his arm. And she feels so bad about it, like, she will never let that go, and every now and then they'll just be sitting there, and she'll just look at him all sad, and he'll be like, you're still upset about that, and she'll be like, yeah. <laughs> And he's like, I'm over it, like, you know, I, I, I know you're a freak of nature and you can't control your strength. But, yeah. But, yeah, that, that's Giz. He's, he, he, he's, yeah, he's Giz. <laughs> I love him too. I love them all. They're all my babies. But, you know, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be Max because I've had her the longest. But, yeah. That, that's all I can really think of right now. If you have any questions about her... Let me know in the comments down below. And, um, I'm still trying to think, like, who should I draw next? I think I might draw Day. Like, he's the main character, and he's also really cool. They're all cool. I love them. And I hope you will, too. And if you have any quest questions, just, uh, ask, and I will try to answer. So, I would really love for this to be a series, like a legit series someday. But... Yeah, that's all I can think of right now before I go on babbling and repeating myself. And yeah, that's it. I guess I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye!